Battle of the Seas, the Redmi 14C versus the Spark 30C, Xiaomi versus Techno. Today, we are diving into a comparison of two budget devices that share a lot of similarities. Although their prices are close, one of them stands out with more and better features. By the end of this video, you have a clearer idea on which of these phones you should buy. My name is Yudi. I talk about tech. Let's shoot. Before we begin, I've reviewed both of these devices on my channel already. So if you want to go into more detail of these two devices, you can go watch their reviews. I'll leave links to their reviews in the description below. All right. Right off the bat, the Redmi wins the pricing battle. The Redmi 14C is priced at 134,600 Naira, while the Spark 30C starts at 146,000 Naira, a difference of about 12,000 Naira. But here is something to consider. Techno does throw in an extra accessory that Xiaomi skips, and that's a pair of wired headphones. Both of these phones have similar circular camera design, but in my opinion, the Spark 30C has a more premium look with less clutter at the back. Both devices come with fingerprint scanners on the power button, headphone jacks, and dual SIM plus memory card slots. Here's where the Techno Spark 30C starts pulling ahead. It offers stereo speakers, an IR blaster, and IP54 water and dust resistance, none of which you find on the Redmi 14C. The Spark also sports a hole punch camera cutout, while the Redmi sticks with a more dated notch. It seems like that 12,000 era difference is starting to make sense now. The display on the Redmi 14C is larger, 6.88 versus 6.67 inches, but specs wise they are the same. They are both 720p 120Hz displays, but it's not true 120Hz. On the Spark, it's only available in system UI and system apps while elsewhere it drops to 60Hz or 90Hz. On the Redmi 14C, it's even more restricted. You only see 120Hz in the settings app and on the lock screen. On other areas, it's dropping to 90Hz or 60Hz. You know, at this point, they should have just given us a 1080p 60Hz display. That would have been so much better. Both of these phones run Android 14, but the techno really shines here. The Spark 30C comes loaded with features typically found on their higher-end devices. Think of multitasking, split screen, sidebars. All these features are on the Spark 30C. The Redmi 14C, however, is a more stripped-down version with none of these extra features. Plus, it's loaded with ads and bloatware. So, Techno takes the win here. Performance-wise, both phones are identical as they are powered by the same MediaTek Helio G81 chipset. You get decent performance, but if you're into gaming or video editing, I recommend opting for the 6GB RAM or 8GB RAM variant. Both devices feature 50 megapixel main cameras, however, the Redmi 14C has a 13 megapixel selfie camera, while the Spark 30C comes with an 8 megapixel front shooter. I will show you some photos and videos taken from both phones so you can judge for yourself before I share my final thoughts. After reviewing all the pictures on my laptop, the Redmi 14C captures sharper images, but the Spark 30C may have the edge in color accuracy, producing more true to life tones. In portrait and selfie shots, the sharpness of the Redmi 14C becomes even more noticeable. But when it comes to low light or nighttime photos, the Spark 30C takes the lead with crypsa details. As for video, the Spark 30C comes out ahead since it supports 2K, that's 1440p resolution, whereas the Redmi is capped at 1080p, resulting in better details and colors in videos from the Spark 30C. So the Redmi 14C produces sharper photos and the Spark 30C has better colors and also way better videos. So if you're looking for a well-rounded camera, the Spark 30C would likely be the better choice. Both phones come with 5000 mAh batteries and support up to 18 watts fast charging. While Xiaomi includes a 33 watts charger in the box, don't expect faster charging. It's still capped at 18 watts. So which phone should you choose? The Techno Spark 30C or the Redmi 14C? Well, I actually want to throw a wild card into the mix. Hold on. 
it's the itel s24 so just hear me out it has better performance and better cameras than both the spark and the redmi it also features stereo speakers and its 8 gig ram variant is even more affordable the only downside is that it's still on Android 13. If that's not a deal breaker for you, then the ITEL S24 might just be your better option. Hope I didn't confuse you. Remember, I reviewed all these phones on my YouTube channel. I will link them in the description below. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tech content. My name is UD. This is UD Shoots, and you'll see me in my next video. See